Today I want to look at the way of reading or interpreting scripture that we call typology. Typology refers to the fact that throughout the Old Testament, God was preparing us for the things he was going to do in the New Testament. So typology refers to the fact that people and events and places and things in the Old Testament foreshadow greater realities in the New Testament. We get the word typology from Romans 5.14 when St. Paul says that Adam is a type of Christ. St. Augustine famously said the New Testament lies hidden in the Old, and the Old Testament is unveiled in the New. And so we look at examples that even Christ showed us that he, what he was doing had been foreshadowed in the Old Testament. Like when Christ says that his passion, him being lifted up on the cross, was foreshadowed by the bronze serpent in Egypt, that the bronze serpent was a type a foreshadowing of Christ. We also see him talking about Jonah and Jonah surviving in the belly of the whale for three days. That's a type of then Christ's passion and resurrection. We see that the early church read scripture this way. In the book of 1 Peter, 1 Peter is telling people about the ark of Noah. And he says, in the days of Noah, during the building of the ark, in which a few persons, that is eight, were saved through water, baptism which corresponds to this. What's he telling his people? But that the ark of Noah was a type of baptism. St. Paul will do this same thing in 1 Corinthians when he talks about passing through the Red Sea being a type of baptism. Now it's important. It doesn't mean these events didn't really happen. It doesn't mean that these Old Testament events aren't important. The Jewish people really walked dry shod through the Red Sea. They really fled the bondage of slavery under Pharaoh and w progressed towards the promised land. But in a deeper way, it also foreshadows our being saved through the waters of baptism from the bondage of sin advancing towards the true promised land of heaven. So what does typology do? But typology helps us to interpret scripture, and it also helps us to understand better God's saving plan for humanity. Because after all, he didn't just decide one day to send his son the next day. And Jesus didn't just decide to found a church and give us the sacramental life one day. All these things were part of God's plan, and God was preparing his people for thousands of years. And sometimes we miss this richness of what Jesus is saying or doing because we don't have a knowledge of the Old Testament. We don't have a knowledge of his Jewish feasts, his Jewish roots and traditions. And so if we want to better understand the sacramental life of the church, what Christ is doing, things like the Blessed Mother's role in Christ's life, we want to look at the Old Testament, and we want to see how was God preparing his people. And that's a little theology in three minutes. Hey friends, thanks for watching. If you like Theology in Three, please like, subscribe, and share. And leave your feedback in the comments because I would love to dialogue with you. There's a lot more content coming. God bless.